iPhone 12 Pro review by saying this. Forget the iPhone 4, the iPhone 12 Pro is my favorite iPhone that I have ever used. I've brought my iPhone 12 Pro all over the place since I first unboxed it. I went to Paris and took tons of photos and used it like crazy. And I discovered a couple things about this phone that surprised me. The iPhone 12 Pro has been criticized by many because when you compare the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 12 Pro, there aren't really that many changes. So automatically people are like, okay, the iPhone 12 is cheaper. Let's go ahead and go with the iPhone 12. And I get their point, but I also kind of disagree, and here is why. Starting off with the design, the design of the iPhone 12 Pro simply feels premium. It's got a beautiful square design that simply feels great to hold on the hand. And the iPhone 12 Pro has stainless steel borders, and I wanted to talk about this. Why do people think that it's okay to buy an Apple Watch in stainless steel, and it's not okay to buy an iPhone 12 Pro that comes in stainless steel. Doesn't matter if you're spending $400 on the Series 6 aluminum or $800 on the stainless steel Apple Watch or even more. Why is it okay for the Apple Watch and why is it not okay to spend more on an iPhone? Now, by no means I'm saying that you should only buy the iPhone 12 Pro just for the stainless steel sides. I'm just saying for those people that want to do it, for those people that do want those stainless steel borders, I just want to say that that's totally okay. If we take a look at the front of the iPhone, it looks exactly the same as the iPhone 11 Pro. We get the same face ID. And I'm very upset about this year's Pro model because there really isn't a feature that, you know, stands out. For me, a nice feature, for me, a great feature would have been Touch ID on the Pro model. See, the standard models would get Face ID and then the Pro models would get Face ID and Touch ID. Once again, in an era that we're wearing face masks all day long, One thing that kind of disappointed me while I was in Paris was the battery of the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro definitely lasted me longer. Sure, I was using the phone a lot, but the battery definitely ran out very quickly. And I've heard other people that that's happening the same thing. So I'm kind of sad that this year we haven't really had an improvement in battery. I guess we were spoiled last year that, you know, the battery was like crazy, especially on the 11. It's not happening this year and I would have really liked that to happen. The iPhone 12 Pro has an IP68 rating, which means you can go up to six meters for 30 minutes underwater. Now this is total insanity. I do not recommend you guys to do this, but I actually did an iPhone 12 Pro water test. Links up right here if you guys wanna go watch that. And I actually spilled coffee. I actually spilled beer. I went to the pool. I even went to the ocean in freezing water and the iPhone 12 Pro survived. I even took photos underwater and videos underwater and the phone did great. Once again, don't do this, but I'm just letting you know that if your phone falls in the ocean or in the water, it should be okay. And then we have MagSafe and the MagSafe ecosystem. And for me, this is such a tiny yet revolutionary feature because this is the beginning to something great. You see, wireless charging was always great, but you couldn't really use your phone while it was charging. Then if you didn't really place it correctly, your phone didn't really charge. And then via magnets, Apple has simply released the MagSafe charger and then it simply snaps to your phone wirelessly. MagSafe is honestly one of my favorite features on the iPhone 12 Pro. Let's move over to my favorite aspect of the iPhone 12 Pro and that's the camera. We now get a LiDAR scanner on the iPhone 12 Pro and I have to say simply wow. We now get smarter and faster focus, especially at night. Videos, photos at night are incredible. But just imagine how amazing the iPhone 12 Pro's camera is at daytime. I mean, you don't have to imagine. I went to Paris and I took so many photos for you. Here's my best ones. Enjoy. Leave a like on this video just for those photos. Okay, so I also wanted to mention one thing and that is the ultra wide camera. I 
I, I just love using the ultra wide camera for anything. I feel like the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 is kind of like a GoPro now. We have an ultra wide lens. We also get water resistant. Once again, I don't recommend it, but I did use that. And then we get amazing drop resistance because we now get ceramic sealed on the iPhone 12 Pro, which makes the iPhone 12 Pro four times more durable than the previous generation iPhone. Another year, another iPhone, another chip. The iPhone 12 Pro is faster and it comes with the A14 Bionic chip. Honestly, I haven't noticed the difference because the iPhone 11 Pro was already ridiculously fast. So I can't do anything that you know makes the iPhone 12 Pro kind of slow down. I have no experience with that. But of course, we will have to wait a couple years to see how the A14 Bionic chip performs on the iPhone 12 once again in a couple years from now. Before we jump over to my conclusion, don't forget that I'm currently giving away an iPhone 12. There's two simple steps to enter. One, go follow me on Instagram. Links are down below. You'll have to tag three friends. And two, be happy because life is incredible. So we get an incredible camera, a breathtaking design, great performance, and a tiny yet revolutionary maxi ecosystem. Even though the iPhone 12 Pro doesn't have 120 hertz, even though it does not have Touch ID, even though it does not have reverse wireless charging, even though the battery is okay. So as a tech YouTuber, I have to tell you, don't buy the iPhone 12 Pro, get the iPhone 12 because the 12 Pro is overpriced. I'm a human being, I'm a person, and I love the iPhone 12 Pro. I love every single aspect of this phone, and I recommend this phone to everyone I see. Once again, go watch my iPhone 12 versus iPhone 12 Pro comparison video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.